Hey everybody and welcome to TechFlow for Construction brought to you by Zentech Consultants. TechFlow for Construction is a recurring video cast where we talk about the best tech practices and procedures that we've been implementing for Zentech clients, ones that we think everybody should be looking to include in their own workflows. I am Jim Coppinger, one of the principals here at Zentech Consultants, and what I want to talk to you guys about on TechFlow for Construction today is uh, offline and read-only access to your files, right? You know, the, the reality is, in the modern world, we don't always have full-time, 24-7 uh, access to the internet or to our servers, right, where we might potentially have files. Um, and we also need to be able to open up and look at our files rather than editing. Sometimes we just want to get in and, and you know see what's going on and what the you know the layout and the design is without actually saving any changes. Sometimes we just want read-only access for uh, you know reference. Um, and and you know one of the really big things that does come up whenever we're working with people, uh, particularly to bring in you know like digital dashboarding and and full base full uh, cloud-based structures for you know all of their construction management systems is you know what happens when the internet goes down what happens when i'm on the job site and i don't have you know the internet or if i'm driving in my truck and and you know i i you know can't hotspot or tether to my phone whatever it may be uh, there's you know it, that's getting less and less frequent in the modern era to be honest but you know it is still a, a legit concern um, and that's one of the great things, right? When we're dealing with the major construction management systems that we're going to focus on here, tools like, you know, Bluebeam and Procore and Autodesk Construction Cloud and SharePoint, right? Which are kind of the big four we always hit on. Um, but what we're going to talk about here today is true of most modern construction management systems. So whichever one you're working in, these concepts, I think, are going to, are going to translate pretty well, right? And it's the idea that they do give you that ability to rest easy if, you know, even if, you lose internet connection after you've begun editing something, the this, this software is going to take care of that for you. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start off here in Bluebeam Review. And I just have our you know typical usual example project open here. And in previous versions of this video cast, I've talked about the check-in, check-out process. Um, and one of the things that's important when I go in and I actually check out a file right here inside of Bluebeam Review, it all happens on the back end, and I've talked about this, but I just want to kind of refresh on this, that it's kind of got an automatic process. What happens is when you check out a file for editing, you want to be the person to make modifications to any given file in your Bluebeam studio. What really happens is that that file, the current active version of the file, is copied to your local C drive, okay? It's in a hidden folder, it's on your local drive, and even if you lose internet connection and you can be down for days, if you've checked out the file, it doesn't matter. Everybody else is locked into a read-only mode and the active version is here on your local computer. And then when you're done, when you check that file back in, you go to a file and you say, okay, I'm done editing this floor plan, I wanna check it back in. What actually happens is that it sends the copy from your local machine back up to the cloud servers and it overwrites or, or appends to you know the current file so that you know that now you've resynced, you've, you've brought your data that you were editing and modifying back up into the cloud, even if it's three or four days later, you know, before you can get internet connection back up, right? So it easily handles that. And you notice that I also have the ability on any of these files to download. I can just right click and download them. And that's when you, you know you're going out into the field, you're going someplace where, you know, you're not gonna have internet connection, you know that in advance, and you can just download the copies for reference. So if you're concerned about it and, and you want to keep a digital version of all your documents and plans, very easy to do. Just you know, select them in Studio, right click and do download copy. So we kind of handled both of those scenarios kind of safely here with the check in, check out process. And the other major players do this to, to you know, one extent or another as well. So let's go over here and let's, let's start off with um, Procore, right? And, and again, you know, I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to go into a, a specific job inside of Procore. All right, and I'll just go to my docu or documents folder here um, and just kind of show you that you have that same kind of functionality, right? That I can go to any file or files and I can select them. Right? And you see that right here, I have the ability to download, right? It's just this little icon over here and I can upload and save those. So same thing, right? I can go in and I can just directly download them to get a read-only version of this file that I can access offline, right? Or I can go in, right? And I can go in and I can sign those out. 
just like we talked about in Bluebeam, right? I can sign those out, I can check them out, check them in, and I get kind of the same process, right? Where I have that structured. Um, I can just, you know, pass those files, download them. If I don't have, you know, access to Procore for a week, it's not really gonna matter. This will be locked out because it's checked out, okay? As read only to everybody else. And then when I go in and say, okay, I'm done, I can then go ahead and upload the new version See, it's just the new version I hover over there. I'll upload the new version of that. It'll overwrite it. And now everybody has my current edits and changes. All right, so it's a great way to make sure that you're communicating properly. Now, <clears throat> the next two that I really want to talk about here, um, and, and I think they have an advantage here, and it's Autodesk Construction Cloud and SharePoint. All right, and I think they both have a, a really nice um, process here. And I'll be fair and say that originally it began with SharePoint, right? Microsoft kind of engineered this with their concepts of OneDrive and SharePoint Online, which is the idea that when we go in and we, we go and we want to work with a file, right? We do have, we've talked about in previous classes, that check-in, check-out process, but it's not always a necessity. It's great because it locks other people from editing, but one of the things that is really nice about this um, when you're working in a system like SharePoint, it's a real-time synchronization system. In other words, if you go and you go through your browser, I just kind of went in here to my uh, training class, my Bluebeam for Beginners class, and you see I've got all these files and folders, right? And I can go in and I can work through the web. And that's great. It, it's a beautiful thing. You can work and access things through the cloud here. But one of the things that I truly do like about working in SharePoint is that in real time, what, what's actually happening here, I, is that, and you see I can go in here to the same uh, Bluebeam for Beginners class, on my local drive, you see that what happens is when you install SharePoint Online, it's going to go in and it's going to create for you a SharePoint link between your hard drive and the cloud base. So that automatically, as you open and work on files here on your local drive, right? So I can go into that same thing, go into my instructor, right? Open up any of these files that I want to work with, make edits, and I save them here on my local C drive. That's as fast and as simple as I can get. Your people can just work right here, open all your files from here. Because what you have here is your full SharePoint directory structure, all integrated and syncing to your local C drive. And what happens is as you connect to the internet, whether it's right now in real time or if you're disconnected and you can't get to it for the next three days, the next moment that SharePoint can connect to your Office 365 SharePoint account, it automatically, without you doing anything, will synchronize whatever files and edits you've made on your local drive back up to the cloud for you in real time. Right? And that's a huge, huge benefit. Like I said, you know, you don't, it's fine if you're out of field and you guys like working in a web browser and you want to edit things in here absolutely outstanding, but that's a real-time connection to the cloud. And if you lose it, you can't really work this way. When you install the, you know, the, the OneDrive option for, uh, and you can see it's up here, right? It's, it's a OneDrive option and you can force sync it if you need to, right? It, it gives you that real-time upload. And same thing, right? When you're in here and you're working in the Autodesk construction cloud, Autodesk took a page right out of there. And you see that when you go in, Right? You see that when you install Autodesk Docs, right, it actually puts in the Autodesk Connector app, um, which actually will do exactly the same thing. You see it's a real-time connection between your documents and your project files folders right? and all the data that you've, you've uploaded. It's keeping it here on your local C drive to go along with right, what you're doing and working with here underneath right, all your documents and your files. And you see that all those folders that are available and editable right through the cloud here Right, are all completely available as well offline, okay? So that you you have it in both locations. So whenever anything goes down or you lose connection, you don't ever have to worry about dealing with that, okay? Um, and and you know same thing with any of these, right? Most of these all default the same way, whether it's you know Bluebeam or Procore. If I just go in and just open up a file whether it's off of my local sync drive or if I do it through the, you know, the cloud-based program. By default, all of these systems, Bluebeam, Procore, uh, Construction Cloud, right, SharePoint, all of these files open up in read-only mode, okay? Um, so that, that's kind of the benefit there. You don't even have to really worry about it. You can just open these up, get data, make changes, you know, edits and measurements and do things you want, but you won't be able to save those changes. All right, so it's great for that read-only access when you just want to get information and not necessarily have to worry about 
you know, whether or not it's the correct setup, the correct structure. It was just for your own informational purposes. All right. So kind of the default for all of these construction management systems, if we avoid the check-in, check-out process or synchronization processes, is that files will open in that read only mode and you, there are ways if you decide later on oh i do need you you can go ahead and check them out after the fact and do a save as and there are ways to get it in if you really need to but it's it's a nice safety valve that by default it opens up in read only so you don't have to worry about getting crazy with it right and that's offline and read only access to files and those are the things we like to talk to you guys about here on techflow for construction